Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to enable data layer on Shopify. So if you want to set up e-commerce tracking on Shopify, then you have to enable data layer. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's see how we can enable data layer on Shopify. So for enabling data layer on Shopify, I'll write on Google Shopify data layer. Okay, then I'll have an option called technical web analytics. So I'm going to click on this link. So you can see over here, they have given us some instructions on enabling data layer. You can see over here. So this is very useful doc. Uh, if you want, you can enable data layer by using this doc so they have given us installation option one first of all you need to create a tag manager account you know and within the theme dot liquid layout you need to place the gtm or tag manager container snippet or actual code okay directly below the body tag okay opening body tag then within the confirmation page the gtm or tag manager container actual code block only should be placed above all additional scripts important notes snippets cannot be applied to the confirmation page any scripts must be placed as an actual code block then you need to create data layer all pages snippet use exact naming and casing you know so you need to create a, a data layer snippet using this name data layer all pages then you need to provide this code in the data layer all pages snippet section you know so if you click on this link you will get this code then what you need to do within the theme dot liquid layout place this include snippet so you just need to copy this snippet and place right before the closing header tag and last of all within the confirmation page admin settings copy over the provided this code actually data layer all pages code directly above the gtm code block remember snippets cannot be used uh, in this section so the actual code block must be added okay so this is how you can enable data layer on your shopify website so i'm going to share this doc file in the video description so that you can enable data layer for your shopify store okay so i'll be enabling data layer for this demo shopify website okay so i have created a google tag manager account for this website you can see over here and i have also created a doc file for enabling data layer okay so first of all we need to go to the admin panel of this site okay so as you know this is a shopify cms so for going to the admin panel we just need to enter our website url then i'm going to write slash admin okay perfect Just wait a little bit. Then I'm going to click on online store and I'm going to click on themes. And I'll click on this three dot and I'm going to click on edit code. Perfect. Then I'll go to the theme dot liquid section where I have header elements. So I'll go to the tag manager. So if you uh, see the documentation, then you can see over here put the gtm code in the header section so first of all i need to put the uh, gtm code in the header section so for getting gtm code i just need to click on this option then i will get header and body code so i'm going to copy the header code first then i'm going to use it in the header element so i'm going to click on save and i need to copy the body code as well and put this body code in the body element so i'm going to scroll down a little bit for getting body element so you can see over here this is the body element so i'm going to paste the code over here and i'll click on save then the next option is i need to create a snippet so i'm going to create the snippet name as it is okay so you can copy it from this option like if you scroll down a little bit then you will see over here okay so you can copy it from here 
detailer all phases. Perfect. Then if I scroll down a little bit, then I have an option called snippets. So I'm going to click on it and I'll click on add new snippet and I'll name the file as detail at all pages. Make sure you are copying the exact code or exact naming sequence from the documentation. Okay, perfect. Then I'll click on done. Then I need to paste this code over here. Okay, so I'm going to click this option. So you can get this code by clicking on this link, data layer all pages dot this, this one actually. So this is a very big code. I'm going to copy the whole code. So it might take some time. Please have some patience. Okay. Just wait a little bit. is almost done. Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to copy the code and paste it in the data layer all pages snippet section. I'm going to click on save. Then we'll go to the documentation. And within the theme dot liquid layout, I just need to place include data layer all pages code right before the closing header tag. So I'm going to copy it from here. So what you need to do, you can scroll down a little bit, then you can copy this from here as well. Okay. So I'll go to the theme dot liquid section and inside closing header i'm going to paste this code so this is the closing header i'm going to paste this code and i'm going to click on save then the last option is i need to go to the checkout page and put the tag manager code and this code in the checkout section so for going to the checkout i need to click on exit then if I click on settings, then I have an option called checkout. So I'm going to click on it. Let me scroll down a little bit. I have an option called additional scripts. Okay. So first of all, I'll copy the tag manager code from here. So I'm going to copy the tag manager header code and paste it in the additional script section and I'll give some enter, then I need to use this code, okay? Just wait a little bit. So this is again a very big code, so it might take some time for copying. So please have some patience. is almost done just to it a little bit so yeah it's done i'm gonna copy it and paste it over here Perfect. Then I'll click on save. So data layer has been installed on our website. Okay. Perfect. So for checking whether data layer has been installed on our website or not, if I choose this product, then let's add this product to the cart and if i go to the simple data layer pages then 
you'll see data layer has been installed like shipping info all the billing infos products you know base type products okay so everything is working fine if i try to check from data layer checker then it is loading might take some time You see tag manager code available over here. Google tag manager. So if I try to match the code, GTM X J J. I will go to the tag manager and try to match the code, GTM X J J. Okay. So data layer has been installed on our website. You can see over here. So this is product. Product actually, uh, view item is product for Shopify for this data layer schema, you know? So yeah, that's it for this video. This is how we can enable data layer on our Shopify store. Hopefully you have liked our video. If you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. You have a good day. Bye-bye.